Hi second grade scholars. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is Monday, May 11th and it's our first day of Rainbow Spirit Week. So remember if you have a photo of you wearing pink or red today, please send it to your teacher. Um, so that they can compile it and then send it over to Miss Chrisman. Um, I'm wearing pink today and I also have painted my fingernails uh, different colors of the rainbow because in most of the videos all you see are my fingernails. Now we are starting a brand new unit today in math and it has to do with measurement. In the beginning of the year we did a measurement unit where we focused on metric measurement. We talked about uh, measuring items in centimeters, in meters and we use tools like a ruler and a meter stick. So now we are going to take some of that knowledge that we learned in the beginning of the year, the really good measurement habits of starting at zero and being really accurate with our measurements and we are going to start measuring in different units. We are going to be working with the customary measurement system which means we're going to be measuring in terms of inches feet, yards, and we're even going to talk a little bit about miles. So to start us off, I wanted to show you here my ruler. So here is my ruler and on my ruler at the top here, I have inches. If I switch it around, here's the metric measuring with the centimeters. This should seem pretty familiar to a lot of you because the rulers that we've used in our classes are similar to this where they have both inches and centimeters on it. Now, in, on this ruler, there are 12 inches, and these 12 inches represent one entire foot. So throughout the lessons that we're going to ask you to solve, um, we're going to be talking about inches, and today's lesson, we're going to be measuring objects in inches. Now, you might be asking me, well, Miss Dixon, I don't have a ruler at home. That's okay. Um, we have created all of our lessons as if you did not have a ruler at home. So any ruler for measuring will be on the screen with the object. And you'll get a sense of what I mean when we start our lesson in a couple of minutes. If you have a ruler, some great practicing you can do is taking that out and measuring different objects that you have at your house in inches. You could take a spoon and see how many inches long it is. You could take, um, maybe you have a ball and you could try to see that how many inches long it is or a piece of paper or an envelope or a card or anything, a kitchen, a kitchen utensil that your parents use when they cook, a book you have in your bedroom. Um, but that's not necessary. If you don't have a ruler, that's totally fine. But anyways, we're starting this new unit on customary measurement, and these are the units of measure that we use here in our country. Um, so we, you probably have heard about inches and feet, and we're going to spend some time talking not only about the actual measurements of objects with these units, but also what tool would make the most sense to use when you're measuring certain objects. So for example, if I was measuring um, the height of the Empire State Building in New York City, I'm probably not going to use a ruler to measure that. So we'll be, we'll be going through some of those topics as well throughout this unit. So let's jump into today's first lesson. For this lesson, what you need is you need a pencil or something to write with and some paper. So go ahead and get those as I get started here. Okay. So to make sure you can see this pretty clearly, Moving some things around on my desk as you grab those materials. Fantastic. Awesome. So as I told you in our little introduction, we are going to be practicing measuring objects in inches. And as you can see here, I have an inch ruler for you. Now our job for this problem solving task, there's two things we have to do. Part A says, using the ruler below, how many inches long is the baby, is the baby sneaker? So this would be a sneaker that a little um, toddler might have on their feet. After you have figured out how many inches long that is, then I want you to describe in words or explain in words what you did to get your answer. So how did you figure it out? And this is where I really want to push you to think about those good math habits that you learned back in the beginning of this year and include some of those measurement vocabulary words and those measurement habits in your explanation. 
So right now, I'm going to have you pause this video so that you can get started answering part A and part B. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, hopefully you've had some, some time to solve both part A and part B for our problem solving test today. Now, there are a couple different ways that you can use this ruler to figure out how long this sneaker is, how many inches long, I should say. That's the unit that we're measuring in today. One of those ways that you can do is something that we've talked a lot about in the beginning of the year, and this has to do with drawing lines. Now, when I look at this sneaker and I look at the ruler, this sneaker is not at zero. In fact, this ruler doesn't even start at zero. The first full inch is two inches. So we need to make sure we draw a line so that we can figure out our starting point and our end point. So here's our starting point. That's four inches. And here is our end point. I'm just turning the board for a second. And you can see that our starting, that our end point is 11 inches. So we have to do a little bit of math now. We know our starting point is at four and our ending point is at 11. So I am going to use this ruler like a number line and make jumps starting at four and ending at 11. The number of jumps I make will tell me how many inches long this sneaker is. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I made seven jumps. So that means this sneaker is seven inches long. Great. The other thing, the other way that I could solve this is in terms of a math number sentence. If I know my starting point is four and my ending point is 11, well, that means, and I want to make sure you can see it, four plus something equals 11. And so now you have a number sentence that you can solve. Four plus something equals 11. Well, that means that you can add on until you get to 11, or you can start with 11 and take away four. And when you do that, you get seven equals your question mark, that mystery number. So one of two ways you can do it, using the ruler like a number line because it's organized in that way, or you can think about it in terms of a number sentence between your starting point and adding something to that to get to your end point. Great. Now, I'm sure your explanations probably had different things there. What I, the reason why I added your explanation here was so that many of you could realize and hopefully put this down in your paper that this sneaker was not starting at the zero inch mark on the ruler. As mathematicians, we know that whenever we measure, we need to start at zero. But for this problem and the problems we're gonna be practicing with today, um, the objects that, are, will, that you will be measuring in inches will not start at zero. So you need to make sure that you use one of these two strategies um, to help you figure out how long an object is. Um, awesome. So we're going to move in now to a couple discussion problems. So let me grab that paper. For our discussion problems, we have three different objects, and I'll zoom out so you can see it. We have three different objects that I'm gonna be asking you to measure with rulers underneath. The first one, we have a bus, an expo marker, and then a pencil. We're gonna do the first one together, and then I'm gonna have you pause the video to do the second two. So, let me zoom in here. I just wanna make sure you guys can see everything okay. Fantastic. Great. So here is the school bus, the toy school bus here. And you know what? I wrote that it's a baby sneaker. This is clearly not a baby sneaker. It is a toy bus. Fix that really quickly. So I have to figure out how many inches long this toy bus is. So for this bus, I need to draw a starting, I need to draw a starting point and an ending point by drawing my line straight down there and there. And it just so happens that my starting point is three inches. 
You can use IN as an abbreviation for inches. And my end point is 9 inches. So I can use my ruler just like a number line and add and, and make jumps until I get to 9. So starting at 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we just figured out that this toy, toy school bus is 6 inches. Whenever you're measuring something, it's super important that you include that unit. We're practicing measuring objects in inches, and so it's really important that we include that unit with our answer. The other way you could have solved this is you could have said, okay, if I know my starting point is three, what do I need to add in order to get to nine? So three plus what is nine? Well, three plus six equals nine. And you can do that with some mental math in your head. It's really, really important that you draw these lines really accurately, that they're straight down um, so that you're getting accurate measurements. So on your paper, I'm going to have you do these next two problems. These next two problems, this one is asking you uh, about how, oh, it's again, I'm sorry about all these mistakes here. Boom box. That's not a boom box. That's not a music player. It's a marker and a pencil. So your job is to use the rulers below each object and figure out how long is the expo marker and how long is the pencil. So go ahead and pause the video and solve these two problems. Hopefully you've had some, a chance right now to solve these problems. We're going to jump in here with the marker and start here. So again, as you can see, when you're looking at this object, it does not start at zero. So I'm going to need to draw lines to represent the starting point and the ending point. And so here it starts at two and it ends at 11 inches, two inches, 11 inches. Got to make sure that I include those um, labels. Instead of using this as a number line, I'm going to do a little bit of math over here on this side or up here on the up here. If it starts at two and it ends at 11, I know that two plus something equals 11 and this something is going to represent the length. So I can start at two and count on by ones until I get to 11, which is what you would be doing if you use this like a number line. Or I could take 11 and subtract two. I know that 11 minus 2 is 9. So this marker is 9 inches long. That's your answer. Now this next problem here at the bottom of our page, the last discussion problem for today, says how many inches long is this pencil? Again, when I look at my pencil, it's all the way on the right hand side, which means it's definitely not starting at zero. So I need to draw my starting line and my ending line. Okay, so my starting point is seven, my ending point is 12. I'm going to show you with the number line strategy. So I'm going to make my jumps one, two, three, four, five. So we just figured out that this pencil is five inches long. Whatever strategy works for me works, whatever strategy works for you works for me. Um, again, today we were just practicing measuring objects in inches. That's the new unit that we're talking about. Um, attached to the directions of this lesson is a video. Um, feel free to watch this video. I think it's about four minutes long. It's just going to give you more of an introduction to inches and to feet and even to yards. Uh, and as the unit continues, we are going to be covering all aspects of that. So please feel free to watch that video either before or after you do your exit ticket. Uh, your exit ticket is attached to your lesson in Seesaw. If you have any questions at all about the first day of customary measurement and you're confused at all about inches or any strategies that you saw, please make sure you reach out to your teachers um, and they will help you. Awesome. I will see you guys tomorrow with another math video on measurement.